the thing about it right now is like uh, certain um, groups, individuals, they've got like um, a card that they're using and it's called a race card, isn't it? So like with this race card, it's a very dangerous thing because like for brothers as well, you have to understand that when you get into a situation with certain people, certain people and they bring out the race card, you have to be very cautious because for one, you can be listening to what they say and you'll be like, oh, I don't care. I don't know. Uh, uh, what's it got to do with me or that? Bruv, you've fallen into the trap. Do you understand? Because like, from when you do that, the layman is going to see this and like, oh, he don't really care. Oh, he's racist, isn't it? That's the same thing that racists are, uh, uh, do, isn't it? And also, when people are asking you, um, are you racist and all that, and you think that just by saying, no, I'm not racist, that's the end of it. It don't work like that. Because like, bare people, yeah, bare people, I'm black, bare people, yeah, have come forward and said they're not racist and have done the worst. You understand? So like for black people, yeah, when they hear, if a man says he's not racist, that doesn't mean nothing to them. Because like they're used to hearing people say they're not racist. That's the deepest part. The you understand? That counts, isn't it? Yeah, it's the actions that count. And like, if you like portray like, for instance, I've noticed one thing um, recently is like certain people, when you call them racist, they start laughing. That's the wrong thing to do. You understand? Like, like that racism that they're calling you, yeah, is a very big, big thing. But you're brushing off like it's a joke, or to you something funny, and. The people accuse you will now bring it forward to you. Oh, look, you're laughing. Why are you laughing at such things? It's deep. It's like um, you calling me a batty man. And as you call me a batty man, I'm like, <laughs> um, I'm not a batty man. <laughs> no, bro. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be pissed, you understand? I'll be angry. You get me? That's the main thing. So, like, what it is, at the same time, certain people are racist. I come from a society that is even racist to itself. I understand racism. It comes in all different forms. You understand? We're the younger generation. You understand? Our elder generation, though, okay, I'll say, I'll admit they're more racist, isn't it? Because, like, it was, like, newer for them, this, this kind of environment. But we've grown up in this environment. And as we've grown up in this environment, we get to, like, communicate with all different people of all different races, different countries, and all that. And then we find out, especially amongst um, the ethnic minority, we find out that, raw, oh, we're all going against the team. We're all experiencing racism one way or another. Um, black man's called nigger, um, Asian man's called paki, this one's called that, this one, you understand? So everyone gets that racism, but it's deep and sad now that we're focused, yeah, we're focused on calling the ethnic min minorities racist, while the real racists that are getting away with everything are just watching and laughing, you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're having a ball, people don't it's understand like it, 100, 100. you don't understand it, they are having a ball, they're watching uh, ethnic minority people all screaming racism at each other when the main racists, yeah, the main racists are in power. The main racists are like running the government. <laughs> you understand? The main racists, right? These are the main racists. You get me? They're the ones that were calling us all these names way before uh, we were even born. You understand? So, like, please, brothers, please, brothers, just understand with this racism thing, it's a very deep thing, bruv. It's a very, very, very deep thing. Um, how will I put it? Um, it's so deep that you could do racist things without knowing it. It's too deep, bruv. It's like, you could, like, just by, just by your action of, like, oh, uh, you know what, uh -huh. oh, this happened, uh, nothing to do with me. To someone, be like, bruh, oh, nothing to do with you, yeah? Or, I don't care. Or, it's nothing to do with me. But hold on, you should care, really. You understand? Like, we have to remember that Islam is justice for all. Everybody has to get justice. You understand? <laughs> The justice might be different for different situations, but everybody has to get justice. And that's Islam, isn't it? That's, 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 that's the that's truth. Right. La, 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 la. We shouldn't be divided on racism. Islam brings unity. Yeah. So we're, 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 we're blood brothers. That's what happens. Come on. We're all, we're all creations yeah. of Allah SWT. Yeah. You understand? We all bleed. We all go toilet. We all cry. We all weep. Yeah. Tears will come out of our eyes. You understand? We all have emotions. <laughs> we all have the same emotions. How about that? And what about we might all have the same color salt? Huh? Ha ha. ha. Yes. Bang. Oh, yeah. You get me? You get me? Yeah. Basically, one thing I want to say, Yaki, is that they say that the strongest believer is uh, much better than the weakest believer. Because obviously the strong believer, he can, you know, protect his family, can go out there and earn, 
You know, where the weak believer, if, if a threat was to come to the family, is going to have a hard, a hard time trying to defend the family. So, you know, that's, that's part of the sunnah, to, to you know, um, broaden your shoulders and thicken your arms. You know, that's part of the, part of the sunnah, and um, we'd like to promote that message out there. And also, like my brother was saying earlier, for the youth, try not to get um, so hyped up in the propaganda that you see on, online. Even like myself, you might hear stuff about me online. But obviously, um, not everything is true what you hear about people, and we might have even made mistakes in the past. And you know, we do tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us for our sins. And uh, inshallah, we don't do them again. So that would be what I'd like to say still. Assalamu alaikum. Too many singing going on. Try not, try not to listen to songs. You get me? You know, those songs, it's propaganda songs. Don't listen to them. And yeah, keep it straight, keep it 100. And always focus on your belief and prayers. Focus on them. With that energy, you might as well use something to unite the brothers, innit? Unite the Muslims. So the same energy that you drop to divide, yeah, sometimes use that energy to unite. You get me? So, it's obviously, things happen for a reason. Qadr of Allah. Qadr of Allah, there's karma, there's so many stuff that goes along with it. So we're not in control with a lot of things. Only Allah is and He guides us. That's all I have to say, bro. And, yeah, and, um, yeah, so at least we know the brothers are there strong still. Get me? Unity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just say something yeah. on that one. Yeah. You see how obviously the two brothers were saying, um, switching negative um, energy into positive. To be honest, even my point of view as well now, obviously, speaking to the elders and stuff, I've been getting loads of advice. And obviously, likewise, all of the brothers are giving each other advice. And to be honest, this is something that me and all of and even even um, these people in the park where supposed problems we're all trying to stop this we're all trying to stop this um, violence and to be honest there's no point of it it's just all negative energy going around so now brothers are coming together and we're just trying to do something positive of course raise money for um, the youth raise money for the community and we're not just talking about youth only the youth maybe that there's maybe there's a gold man out there that needs us to help um, everyone, help everyone, everyone, yeah of course everyone, you understand everyone we're here just to help the whole Muslim Ummah if we can and we're just trying to unite and obviously we need to fix ourselves before we can fix anybody else innit? I'll say so we're trying to, we need to fix our, we need to fix ourselves so let me just wrap it up with what I was saying negative energy fam there's no point of it innit there's actually no point and yeah it's no point man it is what it is now innit but obviously it's the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if you look, don't know what the Qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is it's called pre-decree yeah. yeah and everything has been destiny. written yeah, yeah, it's, destiny. yeah it's destiny yeah. everything's been written so now we're just trying to do what we can, inshallah, to help ourselves and help our and help out the wider Muslim community in it. So inshallah, um, we'll, we'll prosper in it. Inshallah. I, I would say, all the school of thoughts that stop calling each other on labels, stop calling calling each other on labels like madkhali, like extremist. What 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 other labels are there? Salafi, Khawarij, and all of that, bro. Online and online and in the park here, yeah? this thing. Is just causing more um, division amongst the real brothers, isn't it? Yeah, there are a lot of sincere brothers out there. All these kind of talks, labeling uh, Muslims and that, is division. It's causing more madness. You know. Already, there's a lot of division amongst division. Even in this, even in Sunnah, there's more division. And these people, like some of them, I don't even know what they're on. It could be the ages or not, but at least we should know, innit? Like, not to make a uh, blood of another Muslim halal by calling the man khawij and all that. Like, we can come to a certain uh, point, yeah, a certain understanding that we unite, we stand more strong in it. And the, the div division and con division and all that, um, in the first place, we lost a lot over the history. And anyone who does history can know, win it. On a positive note, guys, that inshallah, I want you lot to take this into consideration. I want you lot to understand this. That inshallah that I hope that this touched really that really touched your heart and I want you lot to cut out this negative energy and start doing something positive and constructive so don't say you'll do it tomorrow start today start now before it be too late so that's that's how we want to say inshallah one last thing that one last thing I wanted to touch upon was um I don't know how the other deans are but in Islam one of the biggest things that we focus on is forgiveness so if one of our brothers makes a mistake, you know, we shouldn't call them out online or in front of people and all that kind of stuff. We should speak to them. We should definitely recognize that they've done something wrong and let them know they've done something wrong and try to help them, you know, better themselves and get away from that. What I've been seeing recently is a lot of uh, Muslim brothers are slagging each other off online 
and all that kind of stuff. I mean, there's no way you're going to better yourself or that brother through that. If anything, you might push him further into doing that sin even more. Do you know? You're trying to deal with his sorrow, trying to deal with his depression. You don't know what people are going through. So obviously, we should be more forgiving. You know what I mean? That's a characteristic that we should try to adopt more. Oh, yeah. And what are you going to be benefiting by, spree- by preaching hatred and all of that? Oh, okay. So you had it. Uh, so I was going to say, yeah. Brothers and sisters online, don't drop, record that while I'm talking, yeah? Don't drop people's name online. It's instigation. Yeah. There's one, 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 yeah, there's one thing I need to mention as well, yeah? Like about racism thing, innit? Islam don't promote racism, innit? Yeah? There's a lot of propaganda thing going on, innit? Yeah? Especially in the park and online and hang-ups, innit? Yeah? Why the, one of the main reasons Muslims are getting involved, yeah, is because we've got non-Muslim, yeah, trying to change our religion and that, yeah? Not even change. Change is a, is, is a too strong word, isn't it? Yeah? But they're trying it. You get me? And obviously, us being Muslim, laymans, with all sorts of background, we know what we with the Quran and Sunnah, innit? Yeah? We know La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, innit? So if anyone try to change it, we're going we're gonna to confront it. You get me? Like... Don't try to twist our religion, yeah? In the day, we all united under one Shahada, yeah? And that's it, the full Shahada, bro. So, yeah, that's it, bro. Yeah, so, in the day, yeah, there's new propaganda out there, yeah? Like, Asians are racist, innit? Yeah? So, I, I like to address that from my point, innit? Asians, I keep it simple, Asians are not racist, fam. You get me? I can I can sing that song, Asians are not racist, but it's not worth it. It's, I can't waste my breath on saying Asians are uh, ra- not racist or racist or whatnot. You get me? End of the day, yeah, real ones can recognize real winning, yeah, and who's racist or not. You get me? That's 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 all I can say, bro. Action speaks louder than words, innit? You get me? I've got a lot of real brothers that know things, innit? Ain't about racist. Dude.